In this video, I'm going to be covering some basic reasons why your lawnmower might not be starting. Coming up, right now. Hello everybody, Rudy here from Take a Bath Productions with another video today helping you save some money through videos demonstrating how to fix various things. Today I'm going to be working on this lawnmower right here next to me and I'm going to give you some basic reasons why it might not be starting. This is a general video, doesn't apply to any specific lawnmower. These are reasons that could be across the board for any lawnmower. Alright, let's get started. Okay, the most obvious thing is uh, to take the gas cap off and look in the fuel tank if the mower has been sitting for any length of time. Uh, if the fuel doesn't smell right, then you've got issues with the carburetor. I've got several videos on my channel about that kind of stuff, but we're not covering that particular type of problem today. The next simplest problem is the spark plug. Uh, go ahead and pull the boot off. Make sure you have spark. You can get one of these checkers at Harbor Freight or any place like that. eBay. Or probably your local hardware store has it. Uh, all this does is verify that you have spark. Uh, now this may be one of the simplest problems, but it's probably not the most likely problem. But uh, let me go ahead and demonstrate we have spark. Well, we have spark. Next thing you're probably going to want to check is the spark plug itself. See if it's fouled up. Nope, this actually looks fine. I don't know if you can tell there. Looks good. All right, as you can see, we've made our way over here to the carburetor. Um, one thing you can check real quick is the air filter. This sounds like a stupid suggestion, but I've seen people overfill their mowers a lot with oil, and it'll come out of here where the um, breather is at and soak the, uh, air, the oil filter full of oil and that'll keep it from starting. So keep that in mind when you check your air filter just to make sure it's fairly, fairly clean and not soaked with oil or gas. Now uh, another thing that uh, now this one is actually a common problem is check the fuel for water. Now, if you, ha you think, well, I didn't keep my gas can outside. How can it be full of water? The mower's been in the house. Well, condensation can happen inside the gas tank, or it can happen inside your gas can. If the gas can gets left in the sun, it'll condensate in there and form water inside the fuel. You don't have to have water in the fuel when you put it in there. It can get in there on its own. So the easiest way to check that is... In this case, this mower has a short fuel hose, as you can see right here. So I have to take the gas tank off. Or I could turn the mower up on its side, but usually when you do that, you get oil up in the carburetor and that kind of stuff. You can do that. T turn it on its side, just drain it out the top. That'll work. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and take the tank off here, and then I'll come right back and uh, drain it out. I like to drain them into a glass jar. That way you can see if the fuel has been contaminated or not. I'll be right back. Oh yeah. Yep, there it is. As you can see, it's full of water, clear as day. Here's the gas up here, and here's the water down here. You've got a very clean line right there. There's no question it's contaminated with water like crazy. Now if that happens, it's still not going to run when you put it back. Um, take the gas tank out and make sure it's clean. Take an air compressor and blow it out if you can. Get it dry. Get all that water out of there. And the other thing is the bowl. It's still it's full of water. On this particular mower, this bowl bolts on from the bottom. So I'm going to have to pull the carburetor out and then take the bowl physically off and dump the water out of it. 
Um, if you have a Briggs & Stratton uh, older style or a Tecumseh engine, they usually have a little bolt or even a Honda, a little bolt at the bottom. Um, you can undo the bolt and empty the bowl out from there and you don't have to take it all off of there. But on this one, I do. Okay, so keep that in mind. Um, one other thing you can check, this particular mower has got this uh, primer ball, but a lot of these newer mowers are auto choke. Uh, check to make sure that the, uh, the spring that's on the muffler isn't broken and, and making the auto choke not work. Uh, so look at it when it's cold, look at the butterfly inside the carburetor, make sure it's choked uh, when it's not running, uh, that way you know if that's working or not. Okay, just wanted to show you a couple of things of what I was talking about with the auto choke. This mower doesn't have it, but I just wanted to show you where it's going to be. There's a thing bolted here behind the muffler that's going to have a rod going across here that, that works the choke. And that's got a little spring mechanism here. When it gets hot, it moves, and when it gets cold, it moves back. Uh, it's like a heat-activated spring, kind of. Uh, that should be moving uh, smoothly. You can kind of move it by hand. If it's real janky and it doesn't move good, uh, then that's a problem. And um, it needs to be uh, uh, probably replaced. Uh, that's not real common, but I have seen those go bad. Uh, also, if you don't have spark, I did mention earlier on the first step, uh, you might not have a magneto problem. You might have the wire going to the magneto shorts it to ground. Uh, so one thing you could do is, is pull that wire, and if the spark comes back to life, then something has shorted this to ground, even when it's not supposed to be. So keep that in mind, too. Okay, about the only other thing that it could be, other than the things I've addressed here, is if you've hit something in the yard a tree stump or a big rock or something like that and you can't get it started after that uh, check the blade it, if it looks like a pretzel uh, then you have probably broke the the key in the flywheel and the uh, flywheel has jumped out of time um, I've got a video on that on uh, a Briggs & Stratton 6.5 engine you can look at that video and uh, get an idea of what I'm talking about uh, that video or that uh, instance you'll have to pull the flywheel and get a new key and then retime the flywheel. I'm not going to cover how to do that in this video. This is just a basic troubleshooting video. All right, guys, I hope these points have helped. And if they have, click on the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I come out with videos like this as often as I can. Thanks for watching.